Hey everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel and welcome to, admittedly, a completely unplanned and probably, for me, somewhat bittersweet video actually. Um, this is going to be the last session for a while where I'm going to be using my Player One Uranus C camera which I've been using pretty much every session now for the last seven months and I've really enjoyed my time with this camera. I'm, I'm keeping it of course and uh, I'm going to continue to use it but it's no longer going to be taking center stage because in the next couple of days I'll be receiving its replacement which is its much, much bigger brother, the new Poseidon C Pro from Player One also. Um, I'm extremely excited to get my hands on that thing but that's not really what this video is about. Instead I thought as we've ended up with an unexpected clear night after I'm talking literally a month of clouds and rain and wind. It's been awful in the UK that's why there hasn't really been much astro content coming from me um i thought what better opportunity am i going to get to say a quality farewell to this camera which has been so good to me um so as you can probably see already <laughs> on the previous screen here in nina you know what i'm doing i'm shooting m42 with it because i thought it's going to be a nice target to get a good quality image in just one session really which is all i've got it's a really late start actually tonight it's took a long time to clear up it's seven minutes past one in the morning so it's a good job i've got nothing to do tomorrow as i intend to stay with it as long as it will possibly stay clear so hopefully right the way through till dawn would be good and it'll give me the best chance at making a nice final image from this thing so uh, i thought yeah i'd like to share this with you guys as i said it's totally unplanned so don't expect anything uh, too spectacular from this but i would still like to share it with you and uh, give this fine camera the uranus c uh, the honor of the first m42 of the season for me uh i will definitely shoot it again because i'm human i'm just human i can't stay away from orion okay <laughs> but anyway as you can see let's quickly take you through what we're doing in uh nina yeah i don't know why that eluded me for a second but i've got a sequence set up just really quick and basic uh, i rotate my camera to 90 degrees as that's the best fit for this thing on marassa and uh as you can see, I've got a super simple sequence, just 300 sub exposures a set, so that's five hours of 60 second shots. Divid every five frames, a gain of zero and an offset of 50. And I'm going to refocus every hour. You see, I've got it set to after elapsed time, 60 minutes. So um, we're pretty soon actually going to be hitting Meridian, and I think around about that time, I'll go out and set a time lapse off and uh, see if we can't make something from this video. So, anyway, I've gone and on. Uh, as usual so we're going to catch up with you in a little bit of a while once I've got something more to report back on it looks like everything's going really smooth right now as you can see these sub exposures are looking fantastic and this is a good testament to the speed of the Rasa but also that low noise and sensitivity of the Uranus see I'm really pleased with this thing so um, yeah I'll catch up with you guys soon Well, it's 3.21 right now and I figured it was time for an update and let you know how things have been progressing. So um, I thought the frames were looking quite good uh, and at one point, just a little bit earlier on in the night, I went outside to check on things and I noticed that it's probably the darkest that I've ever seen it at this location. Um, I'm expecting, it's just a theory, but I think it's probably somewhat right that the amount of rain that we've had leading up to this particular night uh, has maybe washed a lot of the particulate kind of held in the atmosphere out of it so it's uh the atmosphere is probably a lot cleaner than it usually is so the light pollution isn't bouncing back off those tiny particles and lighting everything up like it usually does i i went outside and honestly i couldn't really see where the hell i was going to be quite honest with you whereas usually i could you know i could read printed words on a on a sheet of paper, no problem, to be quite honest. Um, so, that's a weird one, uh, but I'm not going to complain in it being extremely abnormally clear. Um, the only other thing really that happened of note tonight is that I wasn't paying enough attention and my PC restarted. So, uh, <laughs> I've fixed that now anyway, I've changed the active hours. Uh, that is the hours at which it can't restart for updates uh, within. To something a lot more suitable for an astronomy PC 
And uh, that should never happen again, luckily. So, um, yeah, I didn't lose much data anyway, probably half an hour. And I think 3.23, this is probably going to be it for me now. I'll just leave it and let it continue running now. Until I lose the target, either into a neighbouring roof or until dawn breaks, whichever one happens first. Uh, we'll, we'll have a little race and see what, what does occur. Now, as always, guys, um, unplanned or not, I'd like to spend the time to just quickly say thank you very much indeed for watching my videos and to everybody who gives you support genuinely genuinely from the heart thank you so much indeed because it really does make all the difference with what i'm wanting to do here which is continue with content creation and sharing so uh thanks very much and i think we'll just leave it there so uh yeah look after yourselves and i look forward to speaking to you all in the next one with a new camera so uh yeah until then Close guys.